Excellencies, distinguished panelists, honorable participants. As chairman of the Geneva Center for Human Rights Advancement and Global Dialogue, it is a great honor for me to open today's panel discussion on the subject of human rights enhancing equal citizenship rights and education. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the director of the UNESCO Liaison Office in Geneva, His Excellency Abdelaziz Al Muzaini, and to the permanent mission of the Kingdom of Bahrain, represented by His Excellency Ambassador Youssef Abdel Karim Bushiri, for co hosting this panel session together with the Geneva Center. Excellency, your country is considered a pioneer in the field of education after introducing citizenship and human rights training within the national educational curricula in 2004. We are most honored to have on our panel some of the most renowned experts in the field of education who promise an insightful afternoon of discussions ahead. In 1996, the International Commission on Education for the 21st Century as spearheaded by the French politician Jack Delors, presented to, the, to UNESCO its landmark report that influenced our, our understanding of the transformative power of education. This report, entitled Learning the Treasure Within, was a, a catalyst for, promo, uh, for promoting social inclusion and active citizenship curricula for mutual understanding, peaceful interchange, and harmony. The report proposed a focus on educating youth on learning to live together, and this is this, the essence of today's discussion. Article 26, paragraph 2 of the 1948 Universal Declaration of Human Rights stipulates that education shall promote understanding, tolerance, and friendship among all nations, racial or religious groups and shall further the activities of the United Nations for the maintenance of peace. The power of education for enhancing cooperation between nations has contributed to bringing about a better world. With the current trends toward heightened interreligious tensions, it is time to once again focus on education as a path to promoting human rights and inclusive citizenship. The rise of populism is feeding on seriously flawed depictions of, religious, of religions and beliefs propagated by the media and by political force. Diversity and solidarity are being replaced by social exclusion, discrimination, and marginalization. It is of vital importance that our education systems address those misconceptions and create mechanism for participatory citizenship in which we as global citizens learn to live together. Exclusive citizenship through education enables diversity to become a force for social progress. We can look the model we like we can look to model countries to learn from their successes. Finland has an impressive track record integrating human rights and citizenship education in their core curriculum. And the impressive efforts of Bahrain, Colombia, and Sri Lanka in promoting nonviolence through education are other remarkable examples to be studied. In their attempts to restore the social and moral fabric that had been affected by inter commonwealth strife, they have used education and social inclusion to promote harmonious relationships with their nations. The lessons learned from these countries that will be presented in more detail by the panelists will enable us to better understand the role of education in building lasting peace. Enhancing equal citizenship fits against the backdrop of education on human rights and global citizenship echoing the same ideals of a more tolerant, cohesive, and peace-driven world. It is undeniable that the first step towards social harmony and shared citizenship starts with educating our youth. Today, 
We unite our forces to promote education as a vector for inclusive citizenship and societal harmony. With this focus on the promise of education, I hope our efforts today will represent a successful step forward. I would like to remind the audience that the Geneva Center will, help, will hold a world conference that next year on the theme of religion and beliefs joining forces to enhance equal citizenship rights. The objective of the conference is to foster greater mutual understanding and tolerance between people of different faiths and beliefs. Your contributions today will be integrated in the concept note of the World Conference. I thank you all and look forward to learning from your deliberation.